Hi everyone. Um, I'm assuming that most of you will have seen the uh, cheap little electronic tool setters that appear on eBay all the time. I'm sure everyone's wondered if they're any good. Um, eventually I gave in and got one, so I hope if I bring this down, I hope the camera will pick it up. There we go, you should have a view of it. Now, first off, mounting it in a vice, even sitting in parallel, just really isn't acceptable um, to be any use, really. You have to verify that the touchpad is properly horizontal, and that requires it to be mounted on an adjustable mount and uh, checked with the dial gauge. But I'm not going to go to all that trouble if the thing isn't even repeatable enough. So, um, as so long as we stick with small diameter tools and know what we're doing, we should get an indication from this. Um, this one is plugged into 440's accessory port. It's actually going via my wireless probe system. So if I press that, you should be able to see on the screen the probe active. But equally, if I reach over here to where the probe is, you should be able to see that it is also activating the probe active light on the screen. The two of them work interchangeably. So the first thing to do, I guess, would be to probe down and set the uh, Z-axis origin to the point that it finds. Um, easily enough done. If I simply press the probe and set zero. traditional double touch off and uh, the next thing we want to know, I'll jog it down just a little bit more so it's a bit quicker, is is it at all repeatable? So here we go. This time we'll just probe down and not set in zero but we'll display the point that we find. Z probe touch detected at zero. Okay, zero, fair enough. Let's try again. Z probe touch detected at zero. Oh, we'll keep going. Z probe touch detected at zero. Nope, still perfect. Come on, shot. Z probe touch detected at zero. Hmm, it's going to be time to convince us it's perfect. Well, for a bit of variation, let's switch tools. I'll go to. Uh, my tool number four, an end mill. Tool four, four millimeters square end mill. The first thing then to do with the new tool would be to set its uh, tool length. Assuming it was a new tool, that's easy enough done. You go to the offsets page and click Z set length. we should be able to repeat the same process we did before, just probing without setting zero just to check that we get a consistent reading. Z probe touch detected at zero. Pretty good. Z probe touch detected at zero. Yep, twice. Z probe touch detected at 0.0025. And now at last, that's what I was hoping for. Just to explain the significance of that number, the stepper motors in a 440 are, like most stepper motors, 200 steps per rev. They're working at uh, 10 micro steps via the driver, so that's 2,000 micro steps per rev. Um, one rev of the ball screws on all the axes in this machine is 5 millimeters. So one micro step is 5 millimetres divided by 2000, <coughs> which turns out to be 0 0.0025 millimetres, the value we have in the display at the moment. So that's the only error we've seen so far, and it actually corresponds to one micro step on the stepper motor, um, round about one tenth of one thousandth of an inch. For reference, the backlash and lost movement in this machine due to, well, genuine backlash plus mechanical flexing and stiction in the slides is, well, not far off 10 times that much. So, let's switch back to the, the first tool, see how it's doing now. So 
we'll go back to tool number five. Tool five, four millimeters spot drill. My favorite spot drill that I use for everything. There we go, and we'll try probing that again without setting zero and see how repeatable it is. Z probe touch detected at minus 0 0.0025. And again. Z probe touch detected at minus 0 0.0025. I will go back to the end mill just to convince yourselves ourselves that I'm not cheating. Tool for four millimeters square end mill. Yeah, let the compressor stop and have another shot. Z probe touch detected at zero point zero zero two five. Z probe touch detected at 0 0.005. Okay, we've done more than a dozen probes, and that's the first one we've found that's out by as much as two micro steps. Um, and that's including any errors introduced by the ATC's action and its ability to put the tool back in exactly the same place. So I think for the price, that's a pass. I'll be building a mount for this and using it in the future. Thanks.